Hello everyone, Mipa here, trying to make your Monday a little better and maybe even something to look forward to. We are here with just a speed paint today. My last video was the last two pages of the first scene. And in the second scene, a new character is going to be seen. <laughs> I realize that's like kind of a pun, but also not. <laughs> and I laughed at it just realizing the irony of it. Anyway though, if any of you are reading my webcomic and you don't want to have any potential spoilers, which there really aren't, it's just me discussing and showing a character that will be showing up really soon and giving like maybe a brief explanation of them just a little bit of background but nothing like too big or spoilery or anything but if you want to wait to see that for the webcomic you can feel free to wait until they are seen not next week because that week's my break but the week after you'll see them then so now that that's out of the way. Here, what I needed to do was make a color reference for the new character, like I did for Luca. This is essentially what I use to color pick all the colors that I need when drawing the characters. I don't really use reference sheets exactly. I know that with web comics, reference sheets can be very helpful and usually are recommended, but like for me, I can visualize the character really well in my head. Like when I think about them, I can picture them in my head really clearly from all angles and while yes before I start my webcomic I usually draw the character a decent amount of times just to make sure I enjoy drawing them and to make sure that I like their design and especially for side profiles just for a reference to make sure I know what their side profile looks like. And sometimes when I'm first starting them, I will reference to those sketches, but I never really make a formal reference sheet. All I really do is make these little standard drawings of them digitally so that I can color pick from them. I don't do any shading on it or anything. I just try to make it easy for me to do the little eyedropper on a bis paint, take the color, and be able to paint bucket my webcomic page. So that's what we have done here for Daisy. I have already stared at this image a lot. <laughs> I've stared at it a lot because I keep needing to color pick it. And I'll I'll be honest here. I'm not the biggest fan of it. This drawing didn't come out the best, and honestly, I am not the best at drawing Daisy. I She has a face shape that I am not used to drawing, and her hair, her little like bangs thing that she has, that throws me off sometimes too. Like... I don't know, but I honestly, like, when I first drew her digitally and stared at this drawing, I hated her at first, if I'm being completely honest. I just, I just didn't like the colors, I didn't like how she looked, I, I didn't like any of it. But, eventually, when I started drawing her not just in standing forward blank expression, and I started drawing her with some more emotion to her, I started liking her more. So, she's alright. She's alright. 
and I do, I do really like her as a character. Who she is in the story is she is Luca's friend, essentially. I will just say that to avoid like saying spoilers or anything. She's Luca's friend, and she she's really nice, and she she will be seen in the next two pages. She's not on the first page, but she's in the second page. So you'll get to see her more then, and you'll also get to see her drawn a little better, in my opinion. So I hope you all look forward to that. So I will stop my rambling. You will see her in my next video. But until then, I hope you all have an amazing week, everybody. Goodbye!